Good morning, what's going on everybody? Uh, today is Tuesday. It is 9.50 in the morning right now. I'm at $61. I'm at Costco. Uh, this morning I let I got to the store at 6. I got to the store when it first opened and uh, I ended up getting a 38 for two and got a $9 add-on. So it was like a 47 for three. And then on top of that, uh, had to wait a whole hour Got a $14 order for one customer, and then I drove out to Costco. So, uh, not the best start ever, but not the worst. It is um, nine minutes away for the Costco drop, and I'll let you guys know with what I get, and I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 1,000 uh, subscribers. I appreciate all the support, and let's run it up today. Let's get it. All right, guys, so terrible news. Um, I seen a total of three orders. I seen a $22 order for um, two people, a $4 flat tip going 10 miles. Nope, not doing that. Uh, I seen an $18 for two, $4 tip, or no, I think it was a $2 tip between two people, not doing that. And then I seen a $20 order going 18 miles, $4 tip, not doing that. So, uh, I waited there for a whole hour, and that's the only three orders that I've seen. Um, other people, they, they saw different stuff, but, you know, wasn't my day at Costco. So, yeah, it is what it is. Still at $61, and this is just how the game works, guys. You got to keep a good mindset. It's not always going to be a busy day. If you plan on working on those slow days, for me, it's always Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And if you plan on working those days, you gotta be smart with it. You don't wanna give up way too much of your time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, keep an eye out on Amazon Flex. If I get something, I'll let you guys know. If I don't get anything, I'll take the L. I'm gonna keep vlogging today and hopefully we can make a comeback. If I don't, it is what it is. This is just how Instacart is. So let's, uh, let's try to run it up today. Good vibes, good mindset. Let's stop being negative. Instacart sucks, we know. Instacart used to be better, we know. It's never gonna get that way, again, because there's way too many shoppers. So, we gotta, we gotta try our best. So let's run it up today. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are making more money than me, because I'm not doing so hot today. Okay guys, so I ended up uh, getting a $22 order, one customer, very easy, down the street. Uh, I was about halfway done with the order and I got a $22 add-on, I believe. It was like $22, $23. I have it on the screen for you guys. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna turn down an add-on offer that's the same amount of my original order. It, the third customer was annoying because I had to drive an extra like five miles. So at the, at the end of the day, it's still a profitable order because it's it turned into a 50 after uh, I, I swiped my order, it turned into a 50, so that put me at 112, which is good. Um, but but you know that third customer, it sucks. But you know sometimes you just gotta you just gotta knock it out because I, I, I there's another there was no way I was gonna decline that add-on even though uh, that third customer was going basically towards my house and um, not having the best day. I mean I know I'm at 112 by 120, but I came out at six. So I would still say this is not a great day for me. It's not not great, but also it's not over yet. So um, yeah, it's 123 right now. It's I'm at $112 and I'm waiting outside of Stater Brothers. Hopefully I don't have to wait too long. And uh, I just want to stay busy at this point. You know, I just want to stay busy and try to uh, for sure hit 150. And then if I can shoot for 200, I will, but I do plan on being home around 5.30 to 6. All right, guys, so I got a 49 for one. It was not a good order. It was a phenomenal order. It was great. Just an outstanding order. I, I wish I can get those all day long. It was $49 going two miles. It was like 32 items. It was just an easy order. It only took me 45 minutes to get back to the store. They sent me a $13 add-on, I declined it. And the reason behind that, it wasn't terrible. I would have grabbed it if it was going in the same direction, but it was going in the opposite direction. And uh, 
17 uh, items for 13 bucks. I didn't want to jeopardize the good, the good order. You know what I mean? Like when you get a good order, you want to give all your attention to that one customer, you know, all of it. And I just didn't feel right taking it. I wanted to focus on that one, one order. And also I wanted to see if I can get something better. You know, you can get more than one add on. So I uh, didn't get another add on after that, but I knocked out this order. It was a $40 flat tip. Instacart only paid $9. So knocked it out back at the store i did see a couple orders uh coming in but they were just bad like 17 dollars for like 40 items 16 dollars going eight miles things like that so uh it's 255 right now i've been waiting for around 20 ish minutes and yeah i'm at 162 dollars i'll let you guys know with what i get next and yeah i don't know who, who else is in socal uh, watch my videos but this weather has been amazing lately this overcast not so cold but not hot either it's just amazing so hope you guys are doing well out there i'm gonna try to keep running it up it is 255 let's run it up let's get it let's go all right guys so um i ended up waiting around maybe like 25 to 30 minutes i kept seeing a bunch of crappy orders uh come up didn't want to take them I uh, kind of regret not taking that $13 add-on, but it is what it is. I, I still don't think it was worth it, but maybe it was. Um, but uh, I ended up grabbing a $10 order. Very easy, 3.2 miles. It was like, uh, I believe it was seven items, 13 units. Very easy order, knocked it out. And as soon as I pulled up uh, to the store, I got a $32 order, one customer really good order uh one customer it's 32 uh for one it's only 31 items 48 units so every time you can get an order that has more uh the dollar amount is more than the item counts and less than five miles i think that's a good order uh profitable order you know and yeah so 32 dollars one customer I'm at 172. This order will put me at 204. And hey, I had it bad this morning, and orders are starting to come in for me. So I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. And I didn't want to take that $10 order, but you know, sometimes you're going to have to take those orders because sometimes you just got to. I call those the filler orders, right? Like, obviously, it's every day goes differently. But I'll tell you one thing. In my area, in this area that I work in, you will not stay busy with 40s and 50s and $80 orders. This is not our market and there's a lot of people working. So you have to capitalize on any order that you see. If it's terrible, don't even think about it. Don't even click on it. But if it's a $10 order going three miles, just knock it out because you can't get add-ons if you're not on an order. If you're on an order, you can actually get an add-on, right? So um, now, if you don't get add-ons, then then maybe don't think that way. But for me, it's like I want to get on. I want to get on the board, and then they can probably start sending me an add-on here, here and there. And sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. And you just gotta stay busy. You gotta stay busy. Grab orders, and you know your time will come. You know, I got that 49. That was my. Uh, believe my third or fourth order of the day before that order i was at one 112 you know and that was a few hours ago so i'm, I'm running things up right now I'm, I'm happy it is starting to sprinkle a little bit which is amazing and yeah uh drop a comment down below do you guys take ten dollar orders do you guys take nine dollar orders what do you guys think is a good order what do you guys think is an okay order to take just to you know keep the juices going you know what i mean because I can't stand sitting. If I sit for an hour, reach that hour and a half mark, you know, I'm just like, oh man, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be here. Another thing, guys, when, um, when I took that $10 order, I didn't spam take it, I didn't take it all, all fast. But I also was remembering, I was like, okay, I, I, I've been waiting for around 30 minutes. If I don't take this order, I might have to wait another 25, 30 minutes just to see another order, right? So I don't know. I figured, okay, 162. I'll be at 172 uh, at a good at a good hour. Even though I have been out since six, so it's not really like it's a great day. 
but you know you got to you got to maximize all the hours that you're out so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and knock out this order shouldn't take me too long and then uh yeah i'll let you guys know if i get an add-on and i'll let you guys know when i get back to the store Let's all right guys so as you can see i just got well i didn't just get i just finished doing uh that 46 that you've seen me grab right now uh knocked that out it put me about three and a half miles from costco and i have no idea why i'm here i, I literally just parked so i'm gonna wait for about 15 to 20 minutes that order put me at 254 dollars so i'm kind of trying to go out with a bang but there was probably it was probably a bad decision coming here because i didn't see much of anything earlier this morning uh and i'm already over my 12 hour mark so um i'm gonna pretty much take anything worth grabbing going towards my house uh so we'll see what happens i'm at 254 it's 608 right now i'm probably gonna wait till 625 if i don't get nothing i'll just go home um maybe 6 30. I'll, I'll probably give it another 22 minutes but if i get something i'll let you know if i don't get anything i'll also let you know and yeah let me know how your day was today all right guys it is 7 47 i just got home i ended up getting uh, i only had to wait maybe like 10 minutes i got an 18 dollar order and then i i only grabbed it because i the only order that i seen and uh it was going towards my house so i was like screw it i grabbed it and then i got a 25 dollar add-on and the add-on was whatever i mean it, it, it was fair it just was going kind of the opposite way uh then i wanted to go but it's all good so i just got home and uh that's gonna be about let's see six o'clock i left my house at 5 50 this morning got to the store at six so six o'clock 12 13 about almost 14 hour day which is crazy but i did hit 298 dollars for the day uh today was a roller coaster for sure i had some good orders not gonna say i didn't have good orders today i had some really good orders today and uh you know i got out early started my day off with a 40 uh, 47 for three right off the rip and then uh it was pretty much just nothing at costco nothing at stater brothers and i just made a comeback you know and it is what it is i'll take it almost 300 dollars and it is what it is if i if i if i know i can hit this much with all these hours i'll do it again and i am going to make a video <clears throat> on why i work so much because i know you guys are probably like why is he always working 12 hours you see all these people on youtube making 12 hour challenge videos and i'm doing this on the regular anyways if you made it this far through the video i would really appreciate it if you like the video it means a lot to me if you could subscribe to the channel if you're new and while you're down there click that notification bell Guys, we're at uh, almost 800 subscribers. I checked about an hour ago, we're like, we're like at 798. So I need 202 more subscribers. Click that notification bell, that way you're notified every time I drop a video. And if I happen to go live and drop a comment down below, let me know how you guys have been. And until next time, I'm out, peace.